wonderful people, this is your guy Forsen. I welcome you all once again to my guitar lessons channel. Subscribing and following this channel will help you to learn the guitar by yourself at your comfort zone. In today's video or in today's lesson, we are going to look at some basic guitar terms for beginners. Some basic guitar terms for beginners. I always say that in learning the guitar has its own language. And as a guitarist or as a beginner, you must know this language or you must know these terms. So today we are just going to talk about the basic ones that every beginner must know. And as, as we move on with the lessons, I will come out with the other terms that you might come across in learning the guitar. So the first term that we are going to talk about, we are going to talk about a chord and a scale. When you want to learn the guitar or when, or when you want to play the guitar, you will come across these two words, chord and a scale. So we are going to look at the difference between a chord and a scale. So we will start with a chord. When you talk of a chord, a chord is when you play three or more notes at the same time. Anytime you play three or more notes at the same time, it becomes a chord. For instance, we have a chord like this. This is a chord. And when you look at this chord, we have one, two, three notes. We, we, we are playing on three notes. So this becomes a chord. And we have a chord like this. This is made up of four notes. So this is also a chord. So anytime you play three or more notes, at the same time, it becomes a chord. Anytime you play three or more notes at the same time, it becomes a chord. Technically, technically, anytime you play three or more notes at the same time, it becomes a chord. When you play two notes at the same time, it's not a chord. When you play two notes at the same time, it doesn't become a chord. So technically, when you play three or more notes at the same time, it becomes a chord. Now let's look at scales. When we talk of scales, so far we've done about four major scales in KC. So when you talk of scales, it's just a sequence of notes or a series of notes. You start from one note, you travel from one note and ends at another note. That becomes a, a scale. So for instance, we have this one, two, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. One, two, three, four, so when you look at this scale, it's, it's just a sequence of notes. You, are, you just started somewhere, you travel from somewhere, and you are using a single note. So the difference is that when you are playing chords, you play three or more notes at the same time. But when you are playing a, a scale, you are just dealing with a single note, a, se a sequence of single notes or a series of notes. So that's the first term that I want you to know. A note three or more, a scale, a chord, a chord, three or more notes at the same time, a scale, a series of notes, that is a, a, a single notes that travels from one end to another end, another end. Okay, so the other term that we will talk about is um, major scale and pentatonic scale, major scale and pentatonic scale. So far, we've done four major scales, so we have an idea when you talk of a major scale. A major scale is, is the, the only difference is that major scales are made up of eight notes. When you talk of a major scale, it's made up of eight different notes. So the sequence is made up of eight notes. When you talk of a major scale, so we have this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a major scale. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a major scale. So a major scale is made up of eight notes. Eight notes. Now when you talk of pentatonic scale, Pentagon. Pentagon is a shape with five, um, five um, sizes. So, so it's, it's very clear. Pen, pen, pentatonic scales are made up of five notes. 
when you talk of pentatonic scale, we are just talking about a sequence of notes that is made up of only five notes. So that's the difference between a pentatonic scale and a major scale. A major scale is made up of eight notes. The series or the sequence is made up of eight notes. And a pentatonic scale, the series or the, the, the sequence is made up of five notes. We, we will have a lesson on pentatonic scale. It's just made up of one, one, two, three, four, five. We have five notes when you talk of pentatonic scale. We have a lesson, a separate lesson on pentatonic scale. Now, the next term I want us to talk about is strumming and pick. Strumming and pick. When you talk of strumming, strumming, strumming is the technique we use in playing chords. Technically, is the technique we use in playing chords. When you see someone playing like this, it means the person is strumming. This is what strumming is about. Strumming is technically how we, we, we play the chords. And when you talk of pick, pick is basically the, the little um, triangular um, device or this, this thing that we use in, in picking the, the strings, in playing the strings. So when you talk of picking, it's basically about using the pick to play a single note. Do, re, mi. When you do this, it means you are just picking with a pick. Yes. So we can strum. When, when you talk, when you look at the strumming, you can strum with your hand. And you can strum with this, with a pick as well. So that is the difference. Strumming is technically how we play chords. We use strumming for chords. And picking or pick is the device the pick the device is called pick and when you use the device to play a single note it means that you are just picking you are picking very good the next term that i want us to talk about is finger picking finger picking is is just simple and and is basically talking about when playing with your finger when you decide not to use the pick and then you use your fingers to play So, and you can use any of your fingers to play or you can use any of your fingers to, to pick. So finger picking is basically when you use your fingers to, to play. The next, the next um, term that we will talk about is bar chord. We will talk about bar chord. When you talk of bar chord, when you talk of bar chord, it's where you use your first finger to serve as a bar. You can have a chord like this, a chord like this. So when you talk of bar chord or when you hear bar chord as, as you learn the guitar, it's where you use your first finger to serve as a bar or to serve as a knot. See, we have this knot. So anytime you want to play in different key, you can just use your finger, your first finger to serve as a bar. And then you just use your three fingers to play the chords or anything you want to do with your three fingers and when we get to chords when you get to the lessons that we talk about chords I, I strongly believe you get to know the bar chords and um, very well yes the next the next term that I'll talk about is called a pull off pull off when you are playing for instance when you are playing a chord like this do a, a, a scale like this do re Do, when you pull off, pull off is basically when you 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 press on a note and then you pull back backwards. You pull backwards. You pull off. You not go back and play a note like this. You are moving from here to here. And instead of you to move like this, you not go by that and you go by this. Let me use the G string for you to know. For instance, I want to play. Re, do. I want to play this Re, do. Then I go like this. It means 
you are pulling off. So this is what the pull off is about. When when we get to scales or when you get to how to run a solo or make a scales or minor scales on the on the board, I think we will get to know more about this. Because some some scales or some scales you have to pull them off. You don't have to go the normal or the raw way. Riddle, riddle, riddle. It means you are pulling off. It's very sharp. It's very, very sharp. So that is what the pull off is about. And we have a term that you also come across that is the the, the slide. The slide. From do to re. Then you decide to do re. You slide. Then you go like this. It means you are sliding. And the sliding, you can slide backwards and you can slide forward. So this is what the, the slide is, is also about. And the last one that I will talk about today is the um, vibrator. Vibrator. You just vibrate. Instead of your do, you just vibrate the notes. Yes, so you sustain the, the notes. Look at what I just played. You see, I apply the slide and then the vibrates. I slide from here and I sustain from here. Vibrator. Very good. So these are the basic terms that I want us to um, look for today. We have numerous terms and I'll come out with them bit by bit bit by bit and you get to know every time that we use on the guitar so for the last time i'll start with the terms again chords and scales when you talk of scale, uh, chords we are talking about playing three or more notes at the same time when you talk of scales we are talking about a series of notes traveling from one note to another note in a sequence and the next term that we spoke about was a pentatonic scale and a major scale. A major scale is basically made up of eight notes. It's made up of eight notes, and a pentatonic scale is made up of five notes. Five notes. The other terms that we looked at is the strumming and picking. The strumming. The strumming is basically the technique we use in playing chords, and the pick is the device we use in picking the strings. And we spoke about um, a finger picking. Finger picking is when you decide not to use the pick, but rather use your finger to pick or to yeah to pick the strings. And you can use any of your fingers to to pick the strings. Yes, and then we also spoke about bar chords where you use your first finger to serve as a bar, and then you use your three other fingers to. To run or to do anything that he want to do, and then we spoke about the pull off, the pull off, and then we spoke about the the slide, the slide, vibrator. When you decide to sustain or vibrate on the on the notes. So these are the basic terms that I want us to look at for today. A scale, a note, a chord, a, str a strumming, pick, finger picking, um, vibrator, slide, and then pull off. So today these are the basic terms that I want us to look at. Next meeting we will look at the other terms and surely you are going to know all the terms or the things that you are supposed to know when you want to learn the guitar. 
thank you very much for watching thank you for watching once again kindly share this video to your friends share to anybody that you think he or she might be interested in learning the guitar and also if today is the first time you are watching my video don't forget to subscribe after subscribing you hit on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new lesson you can get an alert and get easy access to the lesson also if today is your first time and you've not watched my previous lessons i kindly ask you to go to the description below this video and you get the links to my previous um, lessons thank you very much have a nice weekend goodbye